I know what you're thinking. It's a funny looking buffalo. It's a funny thing getting bored of the smart path, the thing that you know is the best choice. And I feel like that kind of sums up my life from about age 17 to age 20, but that's another story. We're talking about gold here, and then specifically we're talking about these Chinese myths and legends coins from the Perth Mint. But that same idea, that idea of buying something different, something that might not even sell well at the local coin shop, applies to any other random coin or series, really. The foundation of what I have is American Gold Eagle. So the simplest thing that I could do to keep everything organized and to keep everything easy to liquidate would be to buy more eagles. Now, I stuck to those eagles for eight years. Lately, though, I've moved a little bit more toward buffaloes. They were just an easy something different for a while without giving up any of that liquidity benefit. But after a while, even that started to feel repetitive. And somehow that feels a little bit less fun. So like I said, it's a funny thing. And that's my lead in to last week's pickup of this 2022 one ounce BU Gold Dragon from the Perth Mint. This is the fifth in the Chinese Myths and Legends series, and there's no way I wasn't going to buy it. I think by now it's safe to say that these coins are my guilty pleasure. I think this particular coin would stand on its own outside of the series. You don't have to have them all to like this one, and I will get this out of the capsule off camera in a minute, but before I do that, I'll just tell you a little bit about what I like about them. We'll just get the obverse out of the way first. I wish the queen made more sense on themed coins. She just seems misplaced but there's no reason to complain about that it's not going to change the dragon themed coins are always going to stand out for me so will asian art but there's just something about the perth mint quality and that layered design that mixes the proof finish and the matte surface that just makes these particularly nice greek mythology roman art architecture chinese art and calligraphy japanese just about anything I'm going to be interested, but the Perth Mint just seems to do it better than anyone else. I picked on the Homer Simpson coin and the Scrooge McDuck coin a little bit last week, but I really don't have anything against them. I just think that they have a limited audience where dragons are always going to do well. Better than a cartoon duck, at least. So let's just take a quick run through the earlier coins in the series since I have them out here. We're going to start with the dragon versus Phoenix. Now this is just a fantastic coin. I think it's a great way to start. There's more to the artistry of this one than just the simple visual balance you see. In Chinese mythology, the phoenix is one of the four guardians and actually it's it's not a phoenix. It's a feng wang or a vermilion bird, which is more like a badass fire pheasant with a golden head. And the coin was released in 2018 and I was really excited to see it. I just couldn't justify it at the time. I know a little bit about the background of this coin. That pairing of the phoenix with the dragon forms a yin-yang balance. And you'll find that art a lot at weddings. You'll also find it depicting royalty. And then that sphere in the middle, that was a plate of Kung Pao chicken. That's actually a pearl of wisdom, but you'll see the dragon versus phoenix at your local Chinese restaurants pretty often as well in full color. You'd see the dragon in blue and green. The phoenix would be red and gold. That dragon represents the east and spring and the phoenix, that's summer in the south. So next up was the 2019 dragon versus tiger. Maybe you've seen these floating around YouTube again lately. They seem to be getting popular again. It's just a really nice looking coin. The only thing that people like more than dragons or tigers is dragons and tigers. And that's of course what we have here. The white tiger, it's another one of the four guardians in Chinese mythology and I suppose in other Asian cultures as well. The tiger represents the West and autumn. And this is another positive negative chi pairing. Our friend the queen is on the obverse again, no real surprise. The tiger is meant to balance out the power of the dragon. You'll see the dragon as a symbol of the emperor and the tiger is a symbol for martial arts and the people. I won't go a whole lot further into the symbolism here, but this was a perfect follow-up to the dragon versus phoenix. Again, we have the two symbols circling the pearl of wisdom. So next up should have been pretty simple since the fourth guardian symbol is the black tortoise. It turns out though that Australia hates turtles because they skipped the black tortoise of the north and went all in on dragons. And generally speaking, I'm okay with that. This is where I came in on the series, the double dragon. This was released in 2020. And again, this was my first purchase in the series. 
Now, this was an easy choice for me at the time as something a little bit different than my typical buys from the U.S. Mint. I like dragons and two dragons better than one. Again, not my favorite side, but this is definitely one of the better effigies of the queen. And it's probably worth noting that all of these coins are government backed. They all have a face value of $100 Australian. Now, this coin does have a little bit of a flat relief compared to the prior two, but it's a very cool balance. It even has a bit of that hexagon pattern. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it's kind of a cool look. It's actually a coin that I considered buying more of. I do have a second one and I'd buy a third if I came across one locally. Okay, so this is for sure where the Perth Mint would bring in the tortoise if they really wanted to stick to any kind of strong series patterning, but instead we got the double P shell for 2021. Now, these are not the foo dogs that you see at the Asian restaurants, even though that's what the art looks like. These are P shell and they're big in feng shui again. Now what makes them different than the guardian lions is the idea that they're not only meant as protectors against evil spirits, they're also a symbol of good fortune since they convert the energy of the evil spirits that they defeat into wealth. Now there's more to that mythology, but it's kind of weird, so we'll leave it at that. The design of the coin has done really well. The idea that they're meant to bring fortune is pretty cool, but the art is just a little bit off since they don't look like any Pichau illustrations that I've ever seen. So I felt like this one didn't work very well in the series. It just didn't quite match. I was already hooked though. I knew I wanted to collect the whole series, so I wasn't going to skip this one. Okay, as promised, here is the coin out of its capsule. And I can hear two or three of you gasping already, but there's never any question that my coins are coming out of the capsules at some point. This coin has a big dragon on it. I don't know how much we need to say, but that dragon is a symbol of the emperor. It's a symbol of royalty. This time around, the dragon has the pearl in its claw. I really like the clouds you see in the background again. That just gives it kind of a cool effect on the matte field. And I mentioned this before, but I do think that the effigy of the queen that the Perth Mint uses is pretty solid. It's definitely better than the Royal Canadian Mint's queen, Casual Liz. I've just Never been a fan of that one. Now you won't be able to see this without a magnifying glass and really that's the whole point. But this coin has a micro laser engraved letter that's worked into the design. It's, it's there on the double Pichau as well. And I really don't see how anyone could successfully copy that. That just gives us one more example of something that the US Mint could have done if they cared about security. And I think I mentioned this before, but I think this coin stands on its own. This could be one that you'd grab without feeling like you had to go back and then grab the rest from the series, which is good because this coin hit with a 5% premium, but any prior coin from the series, and that includes even the double P shell, the most recent, they're gonna cost a lot more than that. And I just checked, by the way, it's not in stock at the moment, but it'll be back. Each of the other coins was available on and off for most of the year of release. Mintage is 5,000, so it's not particularly rare. So I really like these coins because they're kind of a soft entry into the semi-numismatic category. They're a very popular series and there's only one design released each year. So if you are trying to fill the series, then you're not pressured to buy constantly. And then the Perth Mint just does a fantastic job really on everything they do. Just for the record, these might not be the best choice if you're looking for your very first gold coin, but like I mentioned in a recent video, just about any modern bullion will move right now. You're not going to be stuck with any of these. And there's even a chance that you could sell them for even more down the road. That's just hard to say. There's no question the Phoenix would sell for more, and all of them really will go for at least a little bit more if you don't take them to your local shop, but you just never know how they'll do, say, 10 years from now. I just think that anything from the Perth Mint is a relatively safe bet. Of all the series coins that are currently out or even recently completed, I think that this is the strongest. Queen's Beasts, maybe the only competitor in my mind, maybe the Perth Lunar series, but I think that these win. I'm guessing you all have your own opinion, so let's call it good there. Let us know what you think. Would you buy these over your top local coins? And if there are other series coins that you prefer, let us know that too. And while you're there, be sure to hit that like button. If you found any of this interesting, make sure you're subscribed as well. And if you're still here, thank you again for watching. 
I always appreciate your time. Take care.